TitleMatchNetwork.com. Let's talk about your background. Were you a wrestling fan growing up? No, I never watched wrestling growing up. Not at all? No, just uh, got into it. My dad said, hey, you should do this. And I was like, man, nah, forget it. I'm going to do that fake shit. And that was it. At, at what age around was this, that conversation? What? Um, probably within a year, maybe two years of me getting into wrestling. Now, you had a background in bodybuilding, right? I did. I did. Yeah, I um, started out bodybuilding, uh, took the second biggest contest, you know, amateur contest in uh, the United States. And uh, I was invited to the USA by one of the head judges, didn't go, and asked to turn pro. And I said, you know, this really isn't for me. So uh, your father had recommended that you want to get into the business and you didn't really want to. So how did it come about that you actually said, all right, maybe this is something I should look into? A uh, ex-pro fighter that knew my family um, asked me to, you know, come to a show with him. He knew some of the promoters. We talked to the promoters. Um, I had to go through a wrestling school, and then things started to move on from there. Who was the uh, trainer at the wrestling school? Um, Tony Altamori. He was uh, first. And then um, Mr. Fuji took me other, under his wing, and everything started to really escalate from there. What was Mr. Fuji like as a teacher? Because he's notorious for ribs in this business. Yeah, he is. Um, phenomenal teacher. Uh, taught me to go over the ropes backwards. Uh, you know, just worked me like I wanted, like I used to train really hard. A lot of respect for him. And uh, everybody respected him. So it was a good thing. Uh, and people in wrestling either fear you or respect you. Uh, I don't know which one it was at the time, but... Um, you know, he had a lot to do with, you know, people just not playing ribs on me. What state was this in? Where, where was this uh, school located at? Um, we worked actually at right before live events. So wherever it was, New Hampshire, Maine. For, w uh, New for Haven, WWF TVs? WWF. So you were pretty much on the road training, getting your, you know, learning the business on the road with Mr. Fuji? or? Um, well, I'd go to shows that he was at. Okay. And then we, you know, I'd get there early, a couple hours early, and he just run me. I mean, I knew the basics. Um, he was just really fine tuning a, a lot of, uh, you know, what I was doing. And then once I got on the road with him, he started really educating me on the psychology of wrestling. And the office had no problem with like, you know, you getting in the ring before shows or anything now? No, there was no one in the building. Okay. So it didn't matter. Okay. As far as, uh, learning the business for you, what was harder for you to, to pick up psychology or the, the learning to take bumps or psychology, psychology? Yeah. Anytime during your training, did you say, maybe this isn't for me? You, you no, like never. I've never failed at anything I've ever done in my life. So, you know. Taking I, bumps, no problem. You picked it right up. No problem. I know they, uh, in the Altamore school, um, and I didn't, re I didn't recognize it at the time, but they tried to uh, discourage me. Um, somebody put in a bad, bad word about me. Uh, somebody that actually owned a gym and... Um, you know, he put in a bad word to uh, to Tony, and uh, yeah, so they tried to discourage me a little bit, but never happened. He never made it. I did. Hello, hmm. Mr. Fuji. As far as uh, would you consider him your mentor? Yes. Okay. What was probably the most important thing that you might have learned from Mr. Fuji? Um, ring psychology. Ring psychology is the most important thing that I learned from him. You know, I've always respected everybody. And um, so, you know, it wasn't about respect, you know. Uh, I didn't know enough about the business, so being green wasn't a good thing. You know, him watching over me was a, a big plus, you know, because, again, um, I was brought up as, you know, being true and who you are. You know, your word is your bond and your handshake, and, and you know, that's the way it works. But when I got into wrestling, uh, you know, I learned that that wasn't the case at all. You know, everybody fucking lied to you. And, uh, you know, who's stabbing you in the back and, you know, who'd steal a fucking dollar right out from under you. Uh, it's just the way that it was. So there were a chosen few that um, you could really trust and uh, chosen for a few that, you know, you'd say, you know, hey, that's my friend. Or you'd look out for them. Right. You know, so, yeah. 